symmetric and asymmetric key cryptography will be the topic in this session. Cryptography algorithms ciphers can be categorized mainly into two heads. One is the symmetric key or secret key cryptography algorithms. Another one is the asymmetric key or public key cryptography algorithms. So, that means cryptography has got categorized in two different categories. One is the symmetric key which is dealing with secret key and another one is the asymmetric key which is dealing with the public key. Here one same key is used by the sender for encryption and also by the receiver for decryption. So, in case of symmetric key cryptography, we know that we will be requiring the secret key here and so here one same key is used by the sender for encryption and also the same key will be used by the receiver for the decryption process. So, the key is shared. You can find this one. So, here this is let us suppose he is the sender and he is the receiver. So, the same key that is a shared secret key will be shared for both encryption and also for decryption and here through the media ciphertext will be sent. And this is our symmetric key cryptography, the basic idea. In case of asymmetric key cryptography, there are two keys are there in asymmetric or public key cryptography. One key is a private key used by the receiver and another one is a public key which is announced to the public. So, two keys are there you can find here. So here you see we are having this Bob's public key. So, this is a Bob's public key and this public key is available to all the public for this encryption also using the Bob's public key it will be encrypted. The plain text will be there which is being sent by Alice and this particular plain text is getting encrypted by the Bob's public key. Now, it is getting uh, transferred through the cipher, cipher text in the form and then at the decryption Bob's private key will be used for the decryption and then plain text will be originated. So, this is known as asymmetric key cryptography. I think you are getting me. That means, using the Bob's public key which is known to the public and that Bob's public key will be used for the encryption purpose. So, Ellis is the respective sender of the plain text using Bob's public key it will be encrypted. So, the cipher text will be originated and then it will get decrypted by the decrypted by the Bob's private key and the plain text will be reoriginated. So, what is happening you see, so there are three types of keys, I am just going for the summary. There are three types of keys, one is the secret key, that is a shared key for sender and the receiver, which is being used in case of symmetric key cryptography. And another two keys are there, that is a private key used by the receiver and public key which is announced to the public and there is a private public key and private key, so they will be used in the asymmetric key cryptography. I think you are getting this idea. Thanks for watching this. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.